we are here at Give Kids the World, which is something that we have been very excited to be able to come to and participate in in some manner since, I mean, well, for a long time, even before we came to Florida. Yep. And the Ever kids since are- we learned about it. Yeah, yeah. And so we're gonna go and check out all the villas and all the things that people have done. And most importantly, we're gonna learn more about Give Kids the World, the work that they do, and how, Annabelle, how we can get involved, right? Yeah. It's Mayor Clayton. This is Mayor Clayton's home. The bunny rabbit. He's the mayor. The mayor of this whole entire community. Wait, I have an idea. This is his house. This is Mayor Clayton's house. Isn't it cute? Grogu, are you going to stay living here with Mayor Clayton? I don't know, Annabelle. He's like, hey, I've had a great time. I don't know. <laughs> Give Kids the World, 89 acre nonprofit resort that fulfills the wishes of critically ill children from around the world, inspiring hope, happiness, and courage to face any challenge that comes their way. For more information, definitely visit kids, givekidstheworld.org. Also, know that all the donations go to providing this amazing experience, and it's not just an experience for the child who is ill, but the entire family. When wish-granting organizations receive requests from a critically ill child who wants to visit Central Florida, Give Kids the World fulfills the wish, providing each child and his or her family with a magical week-long stay at absolutely no cost. The beauty here is that it happens very fast because sometimes time is of the essence. 1,800 volunteers every week transform the lives of critically ill children and their families by contributing their time, talent, passion, helping to run the village. Since 1986, Give Kids the World has welcomed more than 176,000 families from all 50 states and 76 countries to share priceless experiences and create unforgettable memories together. This is the house for Give Kids the World. It is beautiful. You know, it's about how fast you need to be able to get kids here and their entire families to build memories that last a lifetime when we were coming here tonight and trying to explain this to our children the way that we tried to explain it was imagine if one of our siblings were to get you know to be diagnosed with a critically ill situation illness um and how they too would be affected by this as a sibling and um that really seemed to help them to understand. It's hard to think about what it would mean to be critically ill when you're a kid. That's hard to fathom. Um, but understanding the importance of the entire family being together at a time like this and the entire family having an experience at a time like this, that they really seem to understand.
So next is so next is Kelly Sunshine Swing. Dad and Annabelle are gonna ride. So cute. But I love that they're only seating one side because of COVID. So Maggie was so sweet to let her little sister pick the prize for whack-a-mole, right, Max? And she chose a dolphin bubble wand, which Hello is It was adorable. the coolest thing there. It was rather the, the second coolest thing was a dolphin, which is pretty cool. Right. So, so we're gonna check it out. Uh, Not yet. You're very lucky. Whoa. What is up here? Starlight Scoops. So one thing they do is the kids and the families can go to Starlight Scoops and breakfast is ice cream sundaes. Is that where we would be? That's a place where we're hoping to get to volunteer. Wow. There's the mushroom. Hi. A carousel. Aww. You need to make a wish right here. Oh, you, you have to make a wish. Grant right your right wish. Think hard. A good wish. Children that have had their wishes granted here at the village. That wow. is awesome. Isn't that something? That is amazing. And if you go in the castle, they explain the little star ceremony that each child has when they come. This is a door <laughs> entrance. You're going to need that inside, oh believe me. Hi. How beautiful. Castle it's of early America. Christmas morning when Santa rolls out of bed. He rubs his tired eyes. And lifts his weary head He knows the day before him From so many times before It's what he loves the most And will do forevermore Look at all these stars Okay, right up there Well, like we said, each star represents a wish child that has stayed here uh -huh. When they come to the village, they'll get that gold star in their packet They'll come over to our mushroom table where they can decorate it. They can write their name on it, color it all black, put polka dots, whatever they wish. Oh, how fun. And then they stick it into our star box. That's for Stellar, our star fairy. will then jump inside the box. She gives the box a little shake. And then she'll pop up on the screen holding the child's star. Oh. She shows it to everybody. And then that night she puts all the stars up into the galaxy for the kids to find the next That's just how it goes Of that he has no fear Oh, but no one's ever thought To ask what's in his heart And if even Santa Claus Has hopes and
fairy forest. There's a bridge at the top with little doors. Oh, so I say the wow. fairies live there. into the workshop that's been burning the midnight oil he greets all the busy helpers in the midst of their toil he looks into the progress and it seems as every year they'll be cutting it close but that's just how it goes of that he has no fear oh but no tree. We have a white squirrel that lives here at the village. His name is Buttons. That's his button collection. And he makes pillows for all of the boys and girls who stay here. The kids will ring his doorbell and he'll appear on the screen and he'll ask the kids to complete three tasks. Once they do and once he approves, he hides their pillows somewhere and they have to find them. Uh -huh. Fun is that? And they had, get to take their home. Yes, they do. We've had kids look in the wishing well and the forest. They've shaken the tree. He hides them in the, his tree stump there. So oh. when they open it up, they're all in the tree stump. That's so cool. How much fun is that? And and do you have volunteers who help with that part of oh, the yes. situation? Oh yes, yes, yes. The tree it, troll has elves that help him. Yes. <laughs> or the eighty percent of the village is run by volunteers. Yes. Yeah. That is amazing. Oh. And if even Santa Claus has hopes and dreams, just for one day, if mankind would find the way to be. One person, one man decided, like, I need to start a place that helps families. And look at his impact. And this is just this room. This isn't even, this isn't even, the whole place is filled with it. Unreal. Oh, wow. We should all try and aspire to making such a beautiful impact. I looked at a reflection of one star and it looks like it, since it reflects onto the other stars, it looks like it just, I, I'm peering into an infinite universe of stars. Wow. I'm going to try to get myself some of that ice cream. Anybody, anybody in the mood for ice cream? That's you a are? Nice. Yeah, it's right over there at the pool. Free, as a matter of fact. That's a word you don't hear often in
amazing. Gavin, you got some grilling to do, boy. This is awesome. We're going to go get some ice cream and hot cocoa. Can I get both? Uh, pick and choose one. I think the hot cocoa's over there. I don't know what this is, but we will find out. And we will get it. Oh my God, look at those choo-choo trains with popcorn. Okay, so this has been such an incredible evening. We've loved it, right? I think everyone in our family has been just amazingly impacted by being here. Oh, truly amazing. We've laughed and smiled and cried and, and just had our hearts moved to such an extent. So we're going to do something, well, I shouldn't say we. We, yes. <laughs> well, we'll get into that if you guys are so good. Oh, no. Yes. No. Nanny is going to join the Over the Edge fundraiser for Give Kids the World. Yep. I'm moving in tighter so you can and hear us. And we need your help. We need help because the only way you get to do it is if we raise a thousand dollars. All of the money goes to give kids the world, going toward helping to support families who just who just need this this smile, this good, this bright light in this time of struggle for them. Um, critically ill children. Please check the website. We will post links in the discussion portion or the description portion below. But if you're interested in helping out to get us to a thousand, so Manny can. Rappel down a over the edge, over the, the edge. highest building in Orlando, downtown Orlando, the Hyatt. It's 32 stories. Yep, 32 stories. It'll I've be... never rappelled ever in my life, <laughs> it'll be... but it'll be fun. What can go wrong? Oh, don't say that. <laughs> no, <laughs> it'll. Uh, let's not talk about what can go wrong. Let's talk All about right. how what cool, can go right. how cool it'll be. It's actually really, really cool. I'm terrified of heights. I, I think I, I would do it. You can do it if we raise 10000 Yeah, t it would take 10000 If we do 10x. We need to get up there. 10x. But, you can do it. I, and we're going to sign up. We're going to fill out the forms tonight to volunteer here and do some work for this amazing program that amazing they have going program. on. I'm telling you, there's so few times in life when you can witness something that is pure good poured on top of good, poured on top of love, poured on top of just people giving of their hearts and their time and and to see it come to fruition in such a way to help people, you know. Yep. So much like, of what's just, happening in the world is just about money making and all of that stuff and this is not that. It's amazing. Yep. It's all free to the families that are selected or granted those wishes. Yeah. It's super quick because you Within never know. 24 hours. You never know. I mean, it's as soon as 24 hours of your oh, yeah. approval. Yeah. You can be here enjoying something with your family that's so special in such a difficult time. And we just walked through an area where there's 176,000 stars up in the roof. And each one of those little stars is a story, is a family, is a struggle that thankfully... I can't imagine. Yeah, we're very blessed to have five healthy children and to have not had to walk this journey. And it just feels necessary, I don't know, compelled to be able to do something. So we're going to do this. We're going to do our best to raise the $1,000 between yep. now and oh. I think it's like February 10th or 12th. Yeah, the 10000 and she'll go next to me. Oh my God, please don't. Yes. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> but like, you, oh, I, I, by the way, we're at a table. Yeah. We're seated I, at a table. I, I, I just, I don't you, know why, why you I have, have my mask, mask on. on. I just, cause I forget to take it off anymore. Guys, let it rip. We're out and about. And so anyway, it. yeah, um, go, you gotta check this place out. Uh, it's givekidstheworld.org. <sighs> go to the website, check it out. Yep. See what you can do. See what your family can do. There is an in-kind donation list too. If like, finances are not in the place for you to be able to make any type of donation that's totally understandable and you know what if nothing else just, just share it post the website to your social media and stuff 
so that people can learn about this program. I think that goes a long way too. Yep, yep, you know? it does. So, or help locally. I mean, if yeah. there's something you can volunteer for in your community, and let go us down know the what road. they are. Yeah, I want to know. Yeah. Things like this, where it's it's just giving. Yeah. Time and energy. I think she said like eighty, say, but over eighty percent of all of the functioning that happens here is from volunteers. Yep. That's and awesome. And it's huge. It's, yeah. it's amazing. It's, it's an amazing place. Please check it out. Yep. So we're gonna head out check of here out. and go. And do I'm gonna some... go over the edge with your help. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's so going to be a she. day. No, I don't know yes. about that. But um, now we're going to go check out a food truck. Uh, what was it called? A World Park. Food Truck Park. Park. A world, a food truck park. It's called World Food Food Truck World or World Food Truck Park. I don't yeah. know. I'll Easy show you. for you to say. Yummy. <laughs> food. Food, food truck party. Food stomach, truck. Stomach, 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 stomach. <laughs> Yep. What? <laughs> stomach fiesta. <laughs> stomach fiesta. <laughs> stomach fiesta, people. Stomach. Stomach fiesta. All right. Could be wrong. Our hearts are so full. Just excited for what we can do. Whatever small thing we can do to be a part of this program in the future so please take a chance if you can check out the website guys it's a beautiful program